Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of One Piece Bounty Rush. Too early. Yeah! Welcome back to One Piece Bounty Rush. So, it's been a hot minute since I actually posted a video on basically any game, because I've kind of just been busy the last couple, like, I guess couple of days to about a week now, I suppose. But I'm sunburned, I've been going to a lot of different parades and parties and just having a good time with things. There's been a lot of different messy things all over the city I've been trying to take part in. So I do apologize for lack of videos, but we are back to trying to do two videos a day going forward. So we'll see how things go. Either way, it should be a great time. Now on Bounty Rush, we actually got a couple of brand new updates. And this is kind of the game I wanted to play first when I came back, because I've been missing it. I got up to A plus during last season, but didn't actually managed to get up to S minus, unfortunately. But all this new update that they ended up releasing today has so many new free-to-play friendly options. I want to go ahead and talk about it as well, because this game's actually killing it with its new updates. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start off with the most like obvious thing on the screen. They have new rookie missions, uh, which what this means is for the first seven days that you first start up a server, you'll be able to do all these different missions. And on day three and day seven, you get tickets that you select a five or a four star to get for free, which I see that Crocodile, Anel, and Mihawk are there. I don't actually know what characters are inside the ticket itself. So I don't quite know if you get to choose like any four star that isn't a bounty festival or if it's only these three. Um, but either way, it's fantastic for new free to play like people that want to try out the game for the first time. Because this game, you need a five star to be able to compete in any kind of meaningful way. This allows you to get one pull away from getting to a five star, which lets you actually compete up to at least a plus and just kind of have a good time with things. So this is great. I'm super happy with this. And unfortunately, Survive 100 is currently broken. All solo modes currently just freeze up and crash whenever you try and go into them. But I'm hoping as time goes on through this week, they end up fixing things up with more maintenances because the maintenance for yesterday ended up taking a full like almost 24 hours and we got 20 free diamonds off of it as well. So it's it's been a lot of trying to fix stuff up, but you can tell that they end up putting a lot of work in this update. Uh, we also got some new quests for the new Captain Boney. Honestly, I didn't remember much about her until I ended up looking it up. Um, Miss Boney is one of the worst generation uh, characters, of which is a heavy eater, and her whole thing is aging herself down. Honestly, I remember seeing her inside Sabote, and I remember Akainu arresting her, but very minimal things come to mind when I think of her. But honestly, I'm super down for it, because she actually has some very interesting skills that are very different from other runners inside the game, which you know me. I like when games experiment with new mechanics and try stuff out to try and see what kind of innovation they can bring about. And this right here. So first of all, she has a self buff in her first strong attack, which is a flat heal to herself. Now, I don't think this affects any other other participants that are on your side of the field. So all people around you that are your friends will not get affected by the attack buff or the HP. So she is different from how you're supposed to be playing the Reverie Vivi. However, her main purpose is to be the most annoying runner in the goddamn game. So not only does she heal herself and buff her own attack, you can use her NAD freely afterwards, she also has the ability to control age. Become temporarily invincible. Also, you will not be displayed on the minimap. You will only be able to move while the skill is in effect, and you will not be able to jump off of high places. So what this means to me, at least, is she's able to create, basically, if you play League of Legends, she creates like a bush around her at all times. You can't even see her on the minimap no matter what you end up doing which is horrifying when you think of the fact that she is just a green runner that's made to run around the map and be the most annoying. If you can't check the mini map, you have to keep an eye on her at all times, which makes her the biggest piece of shit to try and fight against, which I love. Um, runners are made to be the most annoying people in the world, and this right here is one of the most runner abilities we've got inside the game so far. I'm gonna absolutely end up maxing her out to try and see what she's all about, but I feel like she honestly might be in my strike zone in terms of like runner gameplay, so it should be quite fun. Um, I don't have a way to level her up quite quickly because the actual, um, what do you call it? The Survival 100 is currently broken, so I can't actually play as her and level her up to 60 to actually play as her into the episode, so 
I'm gonna actually showcase her later on, but for right now, know for the fact that she is here and she's very, very unique. Um, one more thing to cover before we end up going. Uh, actually, two more things. So first, the event itself actually changed to a different format. So instead of having it where you can buy up to three star, up to four star, and then up to five star in one big bulk, they end up making it where the prices are far, far lower, and you can buy one of four packs of each of them. So all of these together will end up getting her to five star, but now you can get like 40 shards at a time for 2,000 over and over. Um, which is a hell of a lot easier when you're trying to level her up and work on her as you want to play as her during the season. So that's fantastic. It's all these small like quality of life updates that I really appreciate. Um, we also got the runner Usopp. He's pretty solid. He's fantastic. He has his first, which is super crazy. He has the human... Oh my god, there's so much to cover in this update. Because I still have one more thing to cover after him as well, so I guess we should probably talk about his moveset as well before we hop into it. Because I haven't really ended up checking out his full set of his abilities, and I do want to try to understand the different matchups that I'm going into in the future as well. So, let's check this out. So his first is the Impact Wolf, which you'll actually see a lot of across the field because it just kind of keeps on going. Uh, a long-range attack with a high chance of landing a critical hit. Acquires Knockback Effect at level 5, which I imagine is kind of similar to Knockback on, like, you know, Shanks' second? I imagine it's probably like that, where you kind of knock them off the area super hard. And his second is Human Drakes. Set traps at a close range. The traps deal damage to stun enemies when they come near it. Traps are removed after a certain period of time or when activated. Huh. I haven't seen these things around just yet, and I fought a couple of Usopp's already. I'm very curious as to how effective these end up being. So if you end up checking them out today, I might try and get into fights with Usopp's to see how this works. Because if you can't see them, or if you have to end up looking at them to find out if they're actually there, it might be a really interesting way of like blocking off areas while you're a runner as well. He also has, when an area around your captured treasure, reduce damage by 30%. That's fantastic. Um, when you're in enemy's treasure area and the treasure gauge is about 50% or more, boost capture speed by 50%. Treasure gauge. So if it's above the the captured rate at the end so how do I phrase this? So if it's above halfway in its charge when they have it captured, you do double the speed or 1.5 times the speed after. Not that bad, honestly. And almost every flag starting out the game will actually have above half. So that's really, really solid. And I imagine that keeps going if you keep on pulling after it's above 50%. So I imagine you get the full boost through the entirety of the, the capture. Um, skill 2, boost speed by 30%. That's fantastic for the traps. Um, and when your strength is more than 70%, reduce the cooldown reduction of skill 2 by 50%, which is going to be good for trying to run away from enemies, I imagine. So he seems really, really solid. His health seems to be... See, I want to say low, but I actually don't know what a good baseline is. I feel like 6,000 is on the lower side, but this is 4,000. Here, um, what other runners do I have that's relevant? Chopper, what's your HP at? 4,000 as well. So, I guess 6,000 at 6 star seems pretty low in general, but it's pretty par for the course for runners in general. So he should be a pretty big force inside the actual game. I'm curious about it, but we'll end up seeing as the season moves onwards. Now, the final thing I wanted to cover, now eight minutes into the episode, god damn it, um, is they did finally add an actual, like, guild feature. Um, and I ended up making a guild here to have for the actual game. It's called Lionses, and we are called Geldus, or Gelidus. If you get what it's supposed to be, I found it to be quite neato. Um, and people that want to end up joining can feel free to, because we needed plenty of people. And apparently it does end up kind of charging up how many total victories the entirety of your guild has. So what I kind of want to do is we might try and do videos for like celebrations of like, oh, we got to a thousand wins in total. Hell yeah. So, could be quite fun. Unfortunately, they didn't actually add a raiding battle thing for alliances just yet, so you can only do private battles. So, I don't know how often I'll end up using the alliance and trying to get private battles in, unless we're doing like stream stuff at one point. But for right now, it's the first step to getting that queuing up with friends feature, and I'm super down for it. So if you do want to join, feel free to. I believe you have to enter the uh, alliance ID. 
So feel free to put in all those numbers and feel free to join to fill things up and we'll see how things go. However, now that we've kind of went through that, I want to do a couple of games. We're just going to do my basic Mihawk and um, kid build right now. I do have some future characters to show off in future episodes that I'll probably end up playing. So I'll we'll probably do like a bony episode along with um, a, um, a, a certain guy that I may have pulled slightly. Um, this happened. So we'll probably end up seeing that in the future. Uh, for right now though, let's go ahead and hop into things and see how it goes. See you guys in there. Okay, so here we are, and we actually are fighting quite a bit of greens. So I'm probably gonna stay as Mihawk for right now. Um, see, I want to try to climb to S minus before doing any big showcases. So I'm probably just gonna try to push with the Mihawk and Kid team today and see what I can end up getting done off of that. Um, I feel like likely what we're gonna do after this episode is we're probably gonna wait until day three of the new rookie bonus. Um, just so we can end up doing the ticket that day as well and check things out and see how that goes. But in that meantime, in the three days, I want to try to get to... Okay, so tomorrow I have my last class before intercession week starts. So my current plan is like, I have to go and do a presentation tomorrow. And then after that, I'm going to go super ham, hopefully, uh, to try and actually get a bunch of video stuff done and try and get as much grinding done as possible. Because that sounds quite fun! Bye, Boney! Bye! You di you died, but still captured it? You captured it post-mortem! I honestly respect it. That's that's a hell of a Boney pick. Uh, for right now, though, I'm probably going to go over here. I'm just going to try to push into their areas. I don't mind it too much, and I feel like Mihawk might be a real good call for getting this shit done. So, let's pop up and down. And that's at least two kills. Thank you kindly. Um, Sabo. I have a Getsuga Tensho for him. Oh, we actually missed. I mean, we end up capturing it anyway, but... Here. I'm... Oh, god damn it! there's another bony down there. I'm gonna go over here and try and help E get captured, because I have a feeling it's gonna end up becoming a pretty big team fight in this area. Bye! Oh, damn it! he spawned a Mihawk. We're one hit away from killing this guy, so... Oh, we got hard knocked! That's the worst case scenario. I honestly don't know what hard knock, what like relegates a hard knock down. Like what causes the stagger? Because it, it seems to be a certain amount of nad hits as well, but I honestly don't fully comprehend what that would end up meaning. Oh no! Uh, hey Mihawk, we're tied for like our place in the world. And honestly, hmm. Whoa! I didn't realize that kid was gonna blindside me. Jeez! You know what, Kid Heart? I appreciate you. Good good job to you. Probably just gonna arm end up um Here, I'm gonna fire this across the way. Uh missed literally everybody, but you know what? We'll end up getting some stuff done anyway. Whoa! Hit the Mihawk, please! Oh man, okay. See, the issue is, the camera just kind of freaks out sometimes when you get into scenarios like that. Which kind of blows some big ones sometimes. That Mihawk got the actual defense buff as well. Uh, they're gonna capture that. I need to fire this in the crowd. Come on. Oh, I missed! I got the shanks off of that. Um, honestly, if I'm gonna be annoying, I want to try to distract. I need to arm up. Arm up while team boost is happening is a good call. Uh, lost my arms here. You know what? I'm gonna actually capture this. Because if we can get E or distract them at all from what they're doing, it's fine. So they're, they're distracted. Get C. Get C, please. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't even turn the camera to go see how close it was. GG. Damn. Either way, I'm probably gonna give a big check mark to that ace because he did his best. You actually give one appraisal per game now, so it's quite nice. Honestly, I love systems that let you thank your fellow teammates when you're doing a team-based game like this. So I'd love to be able to just be like, you did a really good job carrying us this time. There you go. You get that Grado. Um, and honestly, I that's just the kind of stuff that harbors a really kind community in general, so it, it makes me very happy. We'll probably end up doing here, we'll do one more uh, battle here just to see if we can end up getting something cool. 
Why is it Japanese? I mean, I guess that's just how they displayed it, but huh. Here, we're gonna hop into one more and see how things go. Okay, and we are back. Let's see how it goes. That's a heck of a lot of blues, so I'm gonna end up playing as Kid to start off with. Honestly, the meta right now has become very balanced due to the fact that, like, every single category now has their good leads. So, like, we have a bunch of Sanjis running around, we have Usopp's, we have Kid, we have Law, we have Shanks, we have, like, everyone around has kind of plateaued around the same amount now, and a lot of these matches have actually become pretty even from what I've been fighting recently. And it makes you a hell of a lot happier. I really dislike when you end up coming across, like, an all-red team, for example, because that's not really the heart of what this game and its competitive style of building teams is. So, they've been doing a really good job with things. And, honestly, like, uh, th this... This game is one of those sleeper hits, I feel, because it's not as if this is like the most mind-blowingly fantastic like game out there right now, but it updates in such huge ways, I'm genuinely surprised. Like, I'm not used to games being this active, and I genuinely love it. Chopper, what are you doing? Fire. There you go. Honestly, this is a really bad call on your part. Whoa! Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, there's an Arlong right there. Well, I'm probably just gonna head over this way. Honestly, I ain't too concerned about all this stuff. Hey, Sabo. Bye, Sabo. <laughs> oh, oh no! New World Luffy! I didn't expect that! I shouldn't have just been looking at the man. Wait. Seriously, guys? You're just gonna... Oh, okay, bye! See you later. It's It's been nice talking to you, Sabo. Uh, bop it! Ooh! Yeah, that just hit him in the dome. Your top hat got knocked off. If there was a time that your hat was in, it would not be this one. Oh, man. Honestly, Sabo's really fun to play with. I I have a second account on my phone I've been playing in my own free time. Uh, it has Sabo and Ace, and I've kind of been working on things to see if I can get anything else. Haven't had much luck aside from... I actually got uh, Gum Gum Storm Luffy today, so he's been all right. Um, but there hasn't been a lot of, like, super hard carry units that I've pulled, and it's... it's been fun. Um, I feel like going back down to sea has made me very humble about the fact that the entirety of, uh, A rank is stress, <laughs> and it kind of kills me, but it's... it's quite nice. It's, it's quite nice to be able to get back up to here and actually play on this account more often. Um, I'm probably going to end up arming up. Because arming up means that I can protect this a wee bit better. Actually, I'm going to end up grabbing this as well. It won't heal me, but... Here we go, Shanks. Oh yeah, that's a hard knock. You don't want that at all. Listen, all I need to do for my team is hold down these points. B and D are all mine. As long as... All right, <laughs> I, I don't quite understand what hit me, but we'll take it as it comes, I guess. Oh, God damn it, I should go up there. Yeah, no, this this is bad. Getsuga! Oh, God, both videos that I put up today are going to end up having a lot of Getsugas inside them. That's weird. But I'm going to poke it. Bye! <sighs> That's about how it goes. GG, everybody. And you know what? I think that our Eustace kid did a pretty good job. That works out for me. Let's see how things end up going. Yeah, okay. It's literally just because that last, like, swing that I didn't end up seeing because the thing wasn't quite playing out because I hit him down already. <sighs> someday. Some someday the leg will not take over. But that will be it for today's episode of One Piece Bounty Rush. I will be back in about three or so days to do some more of it. So I guess I'll see you guys then. See you later, everybody. Take it easy.